Hey guys, how's it going? Jay here and today we are talking about cables. Cables built with science. Now welcome back, today we are talking about these cables and if you clicked on the title of this video, yes you may find it a little bit clickbaity but I'm gonna let you know right now, there is no measurements in this video, there is a blind A-B testing, I did a blind A-B test with these cables and the cables I used before and I'll let you know which cables those are. But I want to make sure to let you know that in this video, there is no, there's no discussion on if cables matter or don't matter, that is entirely the conclusion that you should draw and if you're someone that is like, oh, you know, measurements tell everything, so cables don't matter. Just use a good set of cables. I recommend blue jean cables, and that is what I've been using for a very long time because they come with it, their set of measurements, and the measurements are fine. And honestly, you know, it's good cables for the money. But even those, people will argue, are pretty expensive cables. It's a few hundred dollars and if you have an entire system, you know, separates and stuff like that, it quickly becomes, you know, like a grand for an entire set of cables. So you may, you may find like, cables from Home Depot or nearby grocery store just as good. I, I have no complaint with that. You do you. I'm not here to convince you of anything. I make content based on my experience. I share them. That's what I do. But with that being said, if you're asking me about product value, is it worth it? To me, my answer is no. Okay, where I am in my life may be different from where you are in your life. Like if you have like a few million dollars sitting in your account, then yeah, you know, go for it, man. Like if you have a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand dollar system, yeah, man, go for it. But for me, where I am in my life, I make YouTube videos. I am not prepared to buy a cable for $10,000, $20,000 at all. But I've got to try a lot of speaker cables and you know RC cables, USB cables, you name it. When I used to work at a high-end retail store, that costed a kidney. And I'm talking about cables that cost like $50,000, $80,000. So I am not a noob or you know a beginner to expensive cables. In fact, I'm a little bit desensitized if anything. So I don't want you to mistake that I have no experience with expensive cables. I have experience with Nordos, AudioQuest, Cardus, I, so many cables. In fact, these are in acoustic cables that I'm talking about today. And full disclosure, these cables were sent to me from in acoustics to make this video. So this is not going to be a review. I am just going to merely report you my findings with these cables as honestly as possible. And I made it clear to an acoustics that whether I say positive things or negative things, they are not able to adjust my opinion and or the findings at all. Let's first start with what makes these cables so special. First of all, they are made in Germany, fully made in Germany. They have all the facilities, the tools, the expensive machines, and the you know assembly is all in Germany, which makes the production cost expensive, but at the same time, everything is done in a meticulous fashion, giving you a very high quality control factor when it comes to making these cables. And obviously that is important when you're making uh, you know, a luxury brand. This is a luxury brand after all. Now talking about price point, I was using RCA cables and speaker cables. I tested them both. I did not test power cables, and these are the exact models and the pricings of the cables I was using. I was using a three meter for the cables, uh, for the speakers, and RCA cables were 1.5 meters, if I'm not wrong. Now you're definitely not gonna get an argument from me when you say these cables are expensive. They're not inexpensive cables, and the quality comes with it. Now, I am not saying that these cables should cost this much or blah, 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 but they are fully made in Germany and the production cost is high in Germany, so it is somewhat understandable in my opinion. And the technology is quite interesting. But the main thing that makes these cables so special is the dielectric. And what a dielectric is, is that cables, when they transmit signals, they are not sending, there's no signal travel in the middle of the cable, it's on the surface of the cable. And usually when you have like a dielectric, it means like the insulating material, like 
cotton and stuff like that was used before and those have a value where you know there's a bit of loss because again dielectric is not a conducting material air is obviously there is nothing surrounding the cable the best material as a dielectric allowing you the fastest and you know basically no signal loss and to achieve this they made this little notch here now i hate it when some companies right and there's few companies that do this say air we use air as a dielectric but how how do you suspend a cable in air inside a wrapped fabric you can't not 100 percent so i love the fact that an acoustic is transparent about this and they say that their cables are like 90 percent 95 percent air air as a dielectric and this is very important because you see the notches here are still touching the cables that, that's not air so it's not 100 percent air 100 percent air is not achievable at least yet but again this is an innovation this is r d they are continuing the research to make it more and more air and less stuff touching the cable and this is what an acoustic has been doing with their generations of cables that have been, that have been coming out so i find that quite interesting also they do do tests it's not like they just have this theory they do do measurements and they've shown me a series of measurements they do and it's kind of unconventional from like just measuring the output from an amplifier they test the dielectric through some medium they have in their facility to test different types of dielectric and different types of ways to make macro scale kind of thinking does that actually translate to actual cables in a real life setting that i cannot answer because again i have that's you know cables are either you can believe that is less understood or perfectly understood and that is the two two completely different topics i'm more on the side that is less understood and also on the side that a lot of these manufacturers don't list specs and rather flowery words on their websites which makes it very hard for people to know if the sound is changing because of the specifications you know being different between the cables or you know, essentially something wrong with the cables or if the cables are actually better so here was a case of an acoustic a cable company that has a very good technology going and i'm sure they measure perfectly fine they sound perfectly fine and they don't seem to color the sound in any way or fashion and and this is where it got me it was the sound stage and depth that increased so if you ask me have i drinking the kool-aid i have in fact it was a quite noticeable improvement in the sound staging however i will say that i did a blind a b test with my blue jean cables and the inacoustic cables and i failed terribly failed i think i guessed like maybe out of 10 times or 15 times like seven times something like that it's safe to say i couldn't really tell a difference in my system and i was using a fifteen thousand dollar sonos fiber speakers and a ten thousand dollar dac like a dana Phillips terminator plus and you know the highest gear i have available to make sense of you know putting together a system that kind of makes sense for this cable now here is a twist the cables impressed me for sure but i fi i failed the blind a b testing now in acoustics sent me these little risers cable risers and i didn't really think much of it because you know cable risers that's the last thing i really care about is cable risers the thing is you know if cables don't make much of a difference how can cable risers make a, much of a difference right right i just put the cable risers on there just for fun and i heard more of a difference immediately more sound stage more blackness in the background just even even more sharper edged edged and fleshed out mids i heard a difference the question is could i tell in a blind a b testing and the answer is this not blind ABX testing, right? Because I don't care about these blind ABX testing. If you want scientific blind ABX testing, that's for somewhere else. I'm doing this for fun. So I just did blind AB testing. 
I guessed nine out of 10 times. Correct. I was able to tell when the cable risers were on the cables. It still baffles me. And it's not like I have not tested cable risers before. I have. I have, but the way these in acoustic cable risers work is that they suspend it between two things. It's just a simple design. It's elegant, but simple design. And I was meticulous this time around to make sure that the cable was not touching the ground whatsoever and the cables were isolated from all the power cables and all that stuff. Yeah, I heard a difference. So did I drink the Kool-Aid? I think I drank the Kool-Aid more on the cable risers, which are much cheaper by the way, <laughs> than the cables. In fact, I just think that you should try to raise your cables with something like uh, Lego or something, I don't know, just to try it out from the ground because it actually makes a pretty good difference and is an easy way to improve your sound with cables. Now I want to give you some feedback to Inacoustic and also to the viewers about my experience with the high-end cables and some of the frustrations I have and what Inacoustic is doing right because when I first saw this cable I said this is a high-end cable. The thing is you're charging an arm and a leg for cables. You should not be struggling to put that cable onto your speakers or amplifier. I had cables that are bulky as this cable, even bulkier, even some of them even less bulkier, that I could not, I could not put it on there safely because it would just fall out. And because this portion right here would be straight. And imagine this entire thing hanging off like this, right? You can't even put it towards the wall more if you wanted to. You can't. Guess what? An acoustic does this. The cables does this. It bends in 90 degree fashion, 45 degree fashion if you want to. And there's a, uh, there's a screw to tighten it. So this allows you to basically have a 90 degree plug. Just simple. Just simple design that works. And you know what makes it even better? Is the fact that if you change your speakers or your amplifier or whatever, then you can change these plugs very easily. You can just order them from an acoustics and you can just change them from banana to, you know, spade, no problem. Easy. I hate it. I hate it when you buy high-end cables and they come with banana or spade, whatever you initially ordered, and then you change stuff in your system and now you need a different type of termination, you have to send it back to the factory to be re-terminated. That is just, I think that is just, just it's too inconvenient to think about. Now you don't have cables for two weeks for it to be re-terminated. It's ridiculous in my opinion. And the third thing is that some of these bulky cables are not very flexible. They are so stiff, but look at this. They, I can do, these are so flexible. They're tank, obviously tangle free because they're so thick. I love that. If I have to spend a lot of money on expensive cables, I want these qualities. These are a must. These are features. Before sound, before anything, the convenience has to be there. The luxury, the craftsmanship has to be there. This has those things. It has craftsmanship, it has convenience, it's very well thought out design. I usually don't use the word, you know, engineered in speaker cables, but this is a very well engineered product. Will I buy these cables with my own money? No, because I can't afford them. I'm not in the place to afford them. But if I had a $100,000 system and I had to choose high end cables, which one would I choose? Before, my answer was, I would just use my blue jean cables. Doesn't matter if I have a $100,000 system, $200,000 system, I would have said blue jean cables. But now, I would say if I have the money to burn, if I have the money to have a $100,000, $200,000 system without a problem and still have millions of dollars in my bank account, I will get an acoustic cables without a doubt. Not because they make a tremendous difference, 
right? I, 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 it's like, you know, I couldn't even tell them in a blind A-B testing. But I could tell a difference in a non-blind A-B testing. Maybe you can say it's my mind playing with me. But if I have the money and it makes me happier because it makes my sound system sound better in my head, then that's perfectly fine. I'm not a microphone. I have emotions. I'm human. So if the cables look nice, they do, they're you know, very good in functionality, the craftsmanship, and because of the value and all that stuff, if it doesn't actually make a difference, but it gives you a perceived difference, right? And it still makes me happy because my system seems to sound better because I'm using expensive cables and with higher craftsmanship and you know, pure copper and all that stuff, then yeah, I don't see why not. That is just my personal opinion because I'm an emotional human being. I am not a microphone. I hear with my mind and my ear is connected to my brain. So if my brain thinks that it sounds better and I'm more happy with my system because of it, even if it's 1% or 2% and I have the money and I have a $100,000, $200,000 system, this is what I would do. That's just my way of thinking. But again, if it actually makes a difference, I don't have the instruments here to test that theory. However, I can tell you my findings with blind AEB and I've already shared that with you. So that you draw the final conclusions, I find these cables to be excellent. I, the science behind it makes sense and they claim that it is built with science and you know actual research and I've seen photos and details of that in their presentation. So I find it very interesting and I believe you can find these presentations online as well if you search for them to find in more depth of what they're talking about. So anyways, that's pretty much it from me and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.